Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Persecution, persecution, persecution. That's what you hear from Jehovah Witnesses. And I'm going to play a story of two sisters in another country got persecuted, and we'll take it from there. The release of Irina and Valida from prison on January 28, 2016, confirms the truthfulness of these verses. In this report, Irina and Valida recount what they went through and how they personally felt Jehovah's sustaining power. Last year has proved to be a terrible experience for me. It was December of 2014. I was sharing the good news with people. I did not expect at all that this would happen. Here's the problem. Good news to people. Yeah. Watchtowers false teaching. Watchtowers lies. And this is the good news. People, you want the real truth, not teaching from the Watchtowers who has published so many lies in their publications. Don't be deceived by Jehovah Witnesses because you will lose your life with God and Christ if you follow this religion. officers. On 17 February 2015, when the judge announced his custodial sentence, I did not realize that I was being jailed. It's only when I was put in a cell, I realized that I've been jailed. It was a small cell with a little window, and the cell stank. We were desperate even for some fresh air. The door had a peephole, and guards would often look through it. That made me feel really uncomfortable and embarrassed. When I was in detention, I was worried about my family, because I am concerned about their spirituality. I am concerned about how they are coping without me. And I'm concerned about my family's security. If this woman had the internet and the love of God and Christ, she would have found out the real truth that the religion that her and her family was in was a dangerous cult. That's the reason why we got out of this dangerous cult, because we found out the truth about those seven men are working for Satan the devil. Their main goal is to put Jehovah's Witnesses on the wrong path, the wrong road, so they will never get close to that right road of salvation. turned away from you. You've been abandoned. Jehovah's Witnesses have left you too. Even when they escorted us to court, they would make sure we were not able to see anyone. For almost 11 months, I did not have access to a Bible. This made it very difficult for me. However, I recalled the examples of the prophets, and that really helped. Now that I was in prison, I could really understand how they had felt. The scripture that helped me the most was Philippians 4.13. For all things I have the strength through the one who gives me power. I knew Jehovah God was the one strengthening me. No, the one that strengthened her was Satan the devil, because 
your own governing body, Jehovah Witnesses, said the name Jehovah, nowhere near the original name of God, since his letters is YHWH, not JHVH. So, you are serving a false god, and all false gods goes back to who? Who? Satan the devil. My imprisonment had been extended for the third time. After the hearing, I felt really down. I begged Jehovah, Jehovah, I'm in such a need for a kind word, for your care. Jehovah, please help me. I was crying as I was being led back to my cell. There was a guard there who had shouted at me before for being a Jehovah's Witness. When he saw me crying, he asked me, Why are you here? I said, For God's name. Yeah, for God's name. A false God's name. Jehovah. Was vented 1270 A.D. by the Spanish monk of the Catholic religion. She was not allowed to see her family, be with her family, for a false God, for a false religion. I was mad, angry, when I dig up the name Jehovah and found out this God that I used to pray to, that I respected, that I loved, was nothing but a worthless name made up by a Catholic religion. And Jehovah Witnesses took that false name that was in the Bible and made it their own. So this woman went through hell because of the governing body. Could have told them the truth that this was a lying religion. Their job is to deceive people. People, that is why we did research, because we want to know the real truth. Am I in the real religion? Could I be, be wrong thinking that those seven men are inspired by God? That's the reason why we did research. Because we love our life. We want our life to be in right with God and Christ. That's why we disobey the elders, circuit overseer, the governing body, by doing research so we can have a chance to live forever. So we have a chance to learn about our Heavenly Father and His Son. That is why we don't have to go to jail or be persecuted in a false way. Christ say you be persecuted in, in me. Joe Witt says you are being persecuted for your religion, for your governed body. It has nothing, nothing to do with Christ and the Bible. So, whoever is watching this video, get the message out. Watchtower and Jehovah Witnesses are no different from any other false religion. Just because they throw the words out, say, we're in the truth, how long you been in the truth, doesn't mean they have the real truth. All it is... A gimmick of words to make people think they're in the true religion. People, it's time to educate yourself. It's time to see the real truth. She 
went to jail because she was trying to place a book and the woman falsely accused her saying the earth was going to be total destroyed which if that was true the Jehovah Witness wouldn't be living on earth it was going to be destroyed so she had to quote a scripture from the Bible to show the court that the earth was going to remain here forever not to be destroyed so her accuser was telling a lie but the, this whole thing could it be watchtowers lying twisted ways to cause these women to be put in jail by not telling them the truth about their false god Jehovah yes because they was out there preaching about their false god that the governing body even knows is nowhere near God's name. So yes, she put herself in a situation to be away from her family almost 11 months for a false, worthless name that the witnesses are carrying every day. I am glad I don't carry that false name. I am glad I don't have people persecuting me for this stupid, worthless, false name. People, it's time to educate your friends, families on this religion. Thank you and have a nice day.